Hi everyone, today I will be reviewing a non-fictional book called Survival of the Prettiest, The Science of Beauty by Nancy Etcock. This is the first book I have read from this author and the pilot of this book revolves around a thoroughly researched insight on how humans perceive beauty, background of different cultures, environments and situations and how they define beauty along with how things have changed with evolving world for both men and women since ancient times and their challenges both in the olden times and now. As this is a non-fictional book, there are a lot of references backed by science and studies. The book really provides a good factual overview of, and the message why we subconsciously prefer beauty. In this, the author explains how since past generations, humans have linked and objectified pleasure with beauty, starting from a very early stage of our lives, like the infant stage, where infants are more likely, this is now supported by facts, that infants are more likely to focus on a beautiful, fair, symmetrical, well-proportionate and clear face like how the kids prefer soft edges over hard surfaces and how these aesthetic differences have evolved over time between women specifically as a sign of competitiveness and envy, be it be their community or a workplace. Additionally, how the society perceives beauty in a woman versus beauty in a man example if a mother is overly beautiful by certain standards she may not be a good mother because she takes care of herself too much than her child or if a man is too beautiful too fair or too lean his sexual orientation will be questioned now that being said the author also explains how beauty is subjective and how it's seen in the eyes of the beholder Next up, I really like the fact this was my favorite chapter from the entire book where the author explained the science and the necessity of having body and facial hair and how that defines beauty, whether you shave your privates or not, if you have facial hair, the pros and cons behind waxing and why we as mammals have hair all over our body and what was the necessity of having facial and bodily hair in human beings. In addition, the book also discusses the feature representation of a man and a woman, like their eyes, smile, height, and how in the olden times tall women struggle and what they did to look shorter than their male counterparts and how men feel insecure due to their height. Overcome all these gender biases, the book also explains what and how people kept themselves in tune with the changing times like the usage of corset, high heels, extreme thinning in women like they have in modeling, eating disorders, voice modulation to sound more feminine and attractive and sensual, uh, body scents, perfumes that we use, uh, how they differ from person to person and the preferences and so on what men prefer uh, women to smell like and vice versa. Now some personal thoughts from my side that uh, when a friend suggested this book to me and by just reading the title my initial thoughts were like oh this is a book on how to be pretty or you know how you can succeed if you are beautiful and the rationale behind it that were my first thoughts about the book but I was very happy that I was wrong in my preconceived notions. And in fact, the book provides a very genuine scientific narration on how we as humans see beauty and the facts behind our behaviors over the past few centuries. It does not call anyone ugly or beautiful, just the fact how we perceive beauty, like the fact how our body hair is perceived how it can be off-putting for some people but extremely sexy for others and how body sense evolved over time and how we prefer one over the other 
And this just reminded me of an incident that I was attending a workshop few years ago. And I just asked some of the male colleagues, what do you look for in the presenter whenever there is a face-to-face -face presenter? And does it differ from having a man presenting? What do you look at it at the first instinct? And when there is a woman, what do you look for? For example, what is the first thing that you see when a woman is presenting against when a man is presenting? And one of the colleagues, a really good guy, not a pervert at all, he mentioned that the first thing he looks is really the lower half of the body and sometimes if the woman is wearing heels is is perceived as more attractive and having said this it's not objectifying the person it's just the first visual instinct that comes to mind whenever there was a presenter presenting now this is an individual opinion again but it just made me realize how things are different for different people with respect to visual instincts uh, some senses like smell and so on and so forth. My biggest takeaway from this book is how we have been conditioned from a very young age, groomed based on our cultural, environmental background and how facts are in line with science. Example, having an hourglass figure, the woman parts are developed as per science for reproductive purposes is nothing and, and nothing more but how this is objectified in different mindsets. So yeah, my honest feedback to all the listeners is to check out this book irrespective if you're a man or a woman. I will give this book a 4.7 out of 5. That's all for today's review. Please let me know in the comment section your feedback and if you have any additional information which may help the listeners, please feel free and mention in the comment section. Thank you everyone for listening. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye.